Okay, so I was asked to show this mail merge process with the double-sided name tense on a Mac. Um, the preferences are a little bit different. The process is still the same. So I have opened my same Word document that I have set up. Um, and just to recall that labels are tables, tables are labels when it comes to uh, mail merge. So you can make your own label template, but this is based off of the Avery name tent um, sort of layout for the double-sided name tents for the medium uh, size tent. I think they're 5305s. We're going to be using Excel as our database again. Here are the people and the departments that we're using. Okay, so I've opened this up and I left the placeholders here just to remind me what I was going to do, but you don't have to start with anything at all. Um, you can start with something completely blank, and in fact, I'll be updating these as I go along. So for mail merge, there's not a tab or a ribbon showing in this is Mac 2011. You're going to go to the Tools menu, and you're going to go to the Mail Merge Manager. So this sort of uh, takes it through the process like the wizard on the window side. So here's the Mail Merge Manager. We're going to select the document type and we're going to create a new uh, Mail Merge and this is going to be Labels. Even though it's not a sheet of labels, um, it's still a the only way we can get that uh, updating and repeating type of thing is to make it trick it out and think that it's a label. So now we could choose a label, but it's going to just replace what we have here. If I just click Cancel, now it'll move on to the next step. The, the whole idea of the labels is that now I can roll the data to the next cell, which I couldn't do otherwise. I'm going to uh, use an existing list, so I'm going to open my data source, and I just have this on a USB key, and I'm choosing my database. And I'll just click OK. And it's opening Excel and it's going to the people sheet and that's great so now it's reading that sheet and these are the fields that are in there that I could use I don't care about the um, title but I do want the first name so I'm just going to choose first and I'm going to uh, I forget how to do this okay so I just did the dragging it over here for first and it's showing me a preview, which is fine. And just to show you how that works, if it wasn't here at all, uh, I will do last. Would be here. Okay, let's get rid of this one so that we see the first here. Okay, and we'll put a space in between those. And we'll get rid of the department and put that back in as well because that was department with a capital D, so that's different. And you can see it's down here because of the alignment, so I just have to bring it to the center. And I'll make the font a little larger than 9. I'll make it 14. I'll make it 20. You can tell that I have my view much smaller here if, if uh, you're looking at this as far as scale. All right, so I have my placeholders in. And so if I were to preview, Mm -hmm. I'm just going to click on the ABC here and you see there's my first person and what department they're in. So remember I want to see this on the next um, cell but flip the other way for the name tent and then I want the second entry to appear in the third and fourth windows. So I'm going to turn the, take this off All right, and I need to update the labels. So let's come down here and find update to update the labels. <laughs> I need to pause to find that. Edit. Add or remove. 
Okay. So. All right, so on the Mac, the update labels that you could see so clearly in the window side is sort of buried in this select recipient list area. Uh, this very last icon says fill in the items to complete your document. If I click, then it rolls it out. Now I had taken the, the time uh, in my template to flip this text and that is just on the, that has nothing to do with mail merge. That's just going to be on your home ribbon. No. Okay. That's going to be, to flip this text, you select the fields that you want to flip, and then you would change the text direction to the way that you want. Okay? But this is the tricky part. If I were to preview now, you see that each one goes to the next record. We don't want that, right? So if I take off the ABC and I just take off this next record right here, because I want it to be the same record, and I take off this next record here, and now hit my ABC. Okay, you can see that our name tents are going to be just the way we want. If we wanted to add a logo, we could add a logo, anything that you want. And at this point, we'll complete the merge. I never like to merge directly to the printer, but you certainly could. I'm going to merge it to a new document. And then I get a new Word document. I'm going to close the Mail Merge Manager so that you can see how it looks before you print it. So this was for Carol to show how this process worked on a Mac and I hope this helps you uh, with success. So I'm Sandy McVeigh and thanks for watching.